Welcome back everyone. I'll show you how to get a transparent widget on iOS 15. So you can see right now I have pretty much a gap up here and then pretty much the applications down here. Now I did kind of rush this so you can see if I kind of like run through like this. It's a little glitchy but it's totally okay. Now in order to do this what you want to do is you need to download an application but you also need to have the wallpaper in your photos app. So if you downloaded the wallpaper, you know, you're pretty much good. But if you're using one of the stock wallpapers, you may have to download that image straight from, you know, Google or something like that in order to use this. So what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our app store and we want to download this application, MD Blank Transparent Widget. And I will remember to link it down in the description. If I forget to, you can pretty much search this. And all you need to do is download this application. It's completely free. Now, when you go ahead and do that, all you want to do is you want to click open and it's going to take you straight into this page. Now you have to try to see which specific mode your iPhone is in. Are you in light mode or are you in dark mode? If you're in dark mode, then you may have to go ahead and you're going to be using the dark mode option. If you're in light mode, you're going to be using the light mode option. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on the image right here and we want to go ahead and bring in the image. Now sometimes you may click on an image and you'll get this little prompt. All that means that you have to go ahead and just screenshot the photo in your photos app. So when you took that screenshot, all you want to do is click replace here and click on that screenshot and image you just took. So in this case, it's that for me. And now all you have to do is make your way back to your home screen. And you want to go ahead and in this case, you can see I have the image here. Now all these widgets are basically made for the top panel. So if I go ahead and click out of this widget, right? I go and remove widget, remove it. All you have to do is go and hold down on your home screen here. You want to go and click the plus button, which is on the top left. And all you want to do is find that MD widget, whichever one we just called for. So we can just keep scrolling down. We'll find the widget down here. So for some reason, it's a blank widget. So, and that makes sense because it's a blank application. So all you have to do is go and click on that little blank option and you can choose whichever specific, you know, application you want to choose. So in this case, we let's just say we want the medium blank. Well, we're going to go and click medium blank. We're going to click add widget. And you can see it pretty much adds that widget over the specific image. And it's interesting because now you can see still there's a little bit of a little gap, but typically on most of the you know, widgets I've used, it's a perfect fit. If you're using a widget, if you're using a wallpaper that has a bunch of things on the background, it's a little bit harder to get right. But if you're using a wallpaper that has like pretty much just like a one blank color up here, then it's usually a much better effect. So that's pretty much how to do it for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.